my friends welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is dahlia and i hope you guys are all having an absolutely wonderful day so we are back on happy home paradise doing a another let's play to decorate more villagers houses i am so excited well you can actually zoom back very far i didn't realize that okay anyway we are gonna do more villagers houses some more other vacation homes i had so much fun with the last build decorating gladys's house so i figured we'd continue the series and i hope that you guys are enjoying them as well so we got a bunch of villagers on the beach let's see who we got we got vivian i think her name is she wants something with music Stu still wants something surrounded by trees um, something about the color pink. Also something about the color pink. I, I want a place that's not quite finished yet. Okay, that's very oddly specific, Caesar, but okay. Bud wants a place where you can play beach sports. And yeah, that's who we got on the beach. Let's quickly head in the cafe and see if there's any other villagers we haven't spoken to yet any other characters that maybe want a vacation home because if you didn't know you can go inside the cafe and find other villagers you haven't spoke to yet we got ourselves pappy and billy and i don't remember her name pancetti or i don't know okay excuse me excuse me i need to get by excuse me I, God, this cafe is too tiny. I made mistakes when I built it. Okay, let's talk to Pappy. What does he want? I want a wooden home with lots of wooden furniture. Oh, I love that. I also love Pappy, so let's let's do a villager home for him. Yeah, let's get started. I also saw Billy. I know that Billy wants a pottery studio because I have seen other people already decorate his house. So I'm excited to do that one. So maybe in a future video we can do his. What does he want? Okay, just basic wooden furniture. Let's give him like a really cute, like cozy little cabin style thing. Very rustic and adorable. Yeah, let's do this one. Why not? I know he's not exactly an autumn villager. Like he doesn't exactly fit any, um, any like season theme. He's a horse, so. Let's give him this really cute little autumn cozy home. I'm feeling very autumn core right now. Like we are on my autumn account for my autumn themed island. So let's let's do that. Oh, this is a cute little little space. Maybe we can make him like a really cute like wood shop. <gasps> That'd be so cute. And then his home could be surrounded by like his own creations. Okay, we're gonna do that. I think that's an amazing idea, actually. Okay, let's get started. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that. I think this is gonna be so cute. Oh, let's do an accent wall with that. And then... Mm, what else we got? We got the wooden knot wall. And then we'll make this the, an accent wall. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, yeah, I love that. He likes it too. Look at his little smile. Um, okay, what furniture, or not furniture, what flooring does he want? Um... Very simple. Why not? Why not? Okay, let's start with this. I want to give him a cute little sitting area, a little, um, what's it called? A kitchen? <laughs> a little sitting area. We want to give him a kitchen because, you know, he needs, a, he needs a kitchen. Um, what color should we do? Should we do dark wood and then maybe a cute... Like this. Oh, that's really cute. I think we'll stick with the light wood though, but we'll keep the tablecloth. Yes, like that. Okay. Then I want to make him a cute kitchen. I think we're going to use the ranch furniture because I love the ranch furniture. They're so cute. Does he want, he also wants just like a lot of the wooden furniture, which we absolutely can give him. Um, so let's go over here. Let's go to alphabetical because we know what we're looking for and we'll do the ranch 
kitchen and the low table. And we'll keep it in this colorway because I think this colorway is perfect for the whole vibe of the place. I think it makes perfect sense. Let's just move this off to the side. This is going to be in a separate area, but these two we can put together. Okay, let's put this here and let's just switch these. So this can go here and this can go here. Then on here, what can we give him? Let's actually, okay, we'll give him a cutting board. And then here we can give him... Hmm. Maybe some decorative bottles. I love the decorative bottles. I think they're so pretty. We'll do it in the brown color. And then maybe a veggie basket would be kind of cute. Yeah, he likes that. Look at the little smile on his face. <laughs> Okay, and then for here, let's do, I want to do some food on the table, like actual food. Um, he really likes carrot cake, so we'll give him a carrot cake. That's adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, what else he really likes? The carrot juice, apparently. Hey, I'm not one to judge your preferences, but carrot cake and carrot juice together, that's a little, little odd, a little odd. Um, and then what else? Maybe just the fancy water pitcher would be cute. What colors does this come in? Just gold and silver? We'll do gold. Maybe we won't do the carrot juice. Is there an actual carrot cake? No, I don't have the carrot, the carrot cake. Mmm... Um, let's do an afternoon tea set. <laughs> he clearly, he's a lazy, he likes desserts, and we'll leave it in the silver. Okay, and then over here, we can put the bread basket. We love a bread basket moment. And then, or we can put the bread basket on the table, and then, like this. Yeah, we'll do it like that, okay and then give him some chairs to sit. And we'll just do the wooden chairs because he wants the wooden chairs. I don't have a fridge. Okay, I feel silly. Let's give him a stonework kitchen and we'll just change the color of it to the beige to go with everything else. That looks so cute. Okay, I'm really happy with this area. Then over here, I want to give him just a really cute little sitting area in front of a fire. And then over here can be his little work area. So I'll do this here. I'm pretty sure I have the fireplace. Fireplace. Perfect. I'll put that right here. Just give him a cute little, little sitting area in front of the fireplace. Uh, we'll do the natural wood for that one, and then can I change this one? Let's change this to the beige, and we can put something cute on top. What does he like? That's cute. Nothing. <laughs> okay, we use the wooden music box, and maybe a plant? Okay, he likes it. Look at the clapping. We love it. Okay. Now over here, we're giving him a work area. So I want to use, um, does he have anything up here that's like the work items? Yes, okay, so he wants the DIY workbench. We'll give him one of those. Put that right here. And then I'm thinking just like a bunch of like wooden tool. What can we put? Let's use a wooden mini table to put some additional items on. I realize now he does not have a bed, so we will be making him a little sitting, like a little um, sleeping area. We might have to switch these two around. I think that could work if we do. Um, yes, let's put this here. And then the little bedroom, I can just make a little one right here in the corner. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot about a bed. Okay, we'll just do this with like a really 
The leaf stool is his little side table. And then, let's put his carrot juice. <laughs> I said I didn't give it to him before. We'll put that on the bedside table. Something for him to wake up to in the morning. Um, and then let's change just the bedding color because I don't like that one. And we'll just put this one to match the little tablecloth I gave him. Put that there. And let's use a table just to put maybe one or two more bigger items. Like bigger tool items. What do we got? No. Um, project table. Perfect. The sled. This is going to be some of the furniture he's working on. And maybe the clacker cart. Actually, no. Let's do the... No, no. Okay. This go away. Little rocking horse he's building. And then I'm thinking, like, I don't know if I have it, like, the scattered papers to be, like, blueprints for future designs. You know what I mean? Um, alphabetical. Let me see. I don't know if I have the scattered paper. Okay, we'll just put stack of books. I think that'll be cute. Brooke. That's so cute! We can put that one here. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute! <laughs> I haven't seen that one yet. And let's put another one there. That's actually adorable. Um, no, I still like that one. Oh, darn, I changed it. Hang on. There. Um, wait, square tile, natural deck. Maybe I should put the deck where the woodwork area is to like separate the area. Oops, wrong one. Duplicate. Just kind of indicate it's like a separate area, you know? Like, let's see if I can actually put partition walls. I might have actually run out of room. Um, let me see. And we'll use the wooden pillar. Oh, that's so cute. And I'm actually gonna get rid of this, I think, to make another partition wall. It's okay, I don't know, I don't need more island space, and we'll just use this. Just give him a little bit of privacy, you know? <laughs> just a little bit. Um, with his bedroom separated from the rest of the house. And... Give him a little wood like mirror at the end of his bed. Okay, now let's decorate his walls. We'll keep this very, very simple. Um, he wants a wall mounted clock, which we can put right here. Actually, let's put the wall mounted clock above the st stove. Let's paint that white just to give the color a little bit of. A little bit of change on the wall, not too crazy. And then I do have the tool shelf. Which you can put here. Perfect. And then let's put some plants. Put these two above here. Leave them that color because I like that color with the walls. And then we can put simple wall shelf. Maybe we can put this over here. Here. Another one over here. And then up here we can put... What does he like? Oh, that's perfect. The wooden pendant one. And we'll just put these throughout. One above his bed. Actually, let's just put this one in the middle a little bit more. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, let's do it side. <laughs> I love that. I think that's so adorable. Mm, yeah, I like this one, actually. Or should we make it a bigger house? No, I like this one. Let's just change the color. Let's make it brown. Yeah. 
And let's give him a timber door plate. Cute. Okay. Now, what do we have for... Should we use... I want to use the log one, this one. Oops. All around his house. And then I want to give him tons of hardwood trees and cedar trees, because I think the cedar trees for his house would be perfect. I mean, he's a woodcutter. He needs tons of trees. Let's do this. Like a bunch of them. One. One over here. Very simple pathway. And then over here we can give him another... There's the log furniture. Log. L-O-L. L-O-L-L. Log. A couple log stakes. Perhaps a log stool. He loves the log stool. We love it for him. Um, and he really wants... Okay, we'll do the axe. Beekeeper's hive. We can do over here. We'll give him a little garden. Um, chainsaw. Over here on the ground. DIY thing for outside. Let's just do this right here. He loves the log stakes, so let's just put a bunch of them around. And then for plants, let's do. Do two of the orange tea starts. We'll just do one right here. And one in the corner over here. And then right here, let's do dark dirt. I don't think he has any preferences for the flowers. <laughs> so that works. Okay, perfect. I think that's actually really cute. And I do have... some custom designs I could work because I am doing a faux island right now so we can put a bunch of these down and then last thing I want to put are some weeds because I want this to be very overgrown this area I just go ham with weeds and I go crazy with them Vines look so cool. How does this look? Okay, let's change just some of the sizes of the trees. Let's make this a stump because that look will look perfect. <laughs> and let's get one more. Make this like that size. And let's make this. No. Oh my god, I'm just like throwing everything out. Okay. <laughs> let's do like that. And then this one, let's make it a little baby too. Like that. Mm. Let's make this one short too, actually. Like that. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. And I just want to change the time of day. Let's do evening. I think like the golden glow. Let's actually make this a pumpkin patch. I actually completely forgot that I could use um, vegetables. <laughs> if I can get it to fit because it's one and a half tiles and it looks being stupid. I can't get it to fit. 
get rid of that. And it should be able to fit. Yep. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! Poppy, what do you think? Oh my gosh, this is so cute! Okay, let's go inside. I think it's outside and inside looks so cute. Like, they're like cozy, warm autumn vibes. Yeah, okay. Can I change him into a different outfit? And then we'll be done. Cute. Look how happy he is! Look at him! Oh, he's so cute. I love Pappy. Of course I can't see him. He's sitting in the little chair, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god, look at that cute little face. Uh, Pappy's such an underrated villager. Everyone needs to love this boy with all your heart and soul because he's so precious and deserves all the love in the world. Let me take photos. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I wanted to take a photo of him sitting with the carrot cake because he's going to be eating it. Look at how cute he is. Sweetie, you don't also need a fork and knife. You only need one. Look at him. He looks so happy. Oh my god, he's dancing. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh my god, I'm so happy. He looks so cute. I'm so glad we did this one. Goodbye. I'm gonna head back. Oh my god, I love you. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god, that was so cute. Oh my god, look at the little Nico icon. I can't. Oh, hi, Nook. Why is Tom here? So let's just head out. Talk to Nico because I want to talk to Nico. And we'll be finished with today's video. Hi, Nico. Nothing. Just want to say hi. I love you. All right. That wraps up today's video. Hope that you guys enjoyed. I had someone fun decorating Poppy's house. I thought it turned out so well. And I hope that you guys liked it as well. If you did, feel free to leave a like on the video. As well as subscribe if you are new to my channel. So that you don't miss out on any future content that I create. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!